Welcome to Ask TacMan. Here's today's question. Dear TacMan, I'm a devoted Step 1 Plus real-time PCR system user. Yesterday, I made a huge mistake while setting up my experiment in the software. Namely, after I started my experiment, I realized I'd forgotten to label a row of wells that contained samples. Can my run be salvaged, or is it trash? Sincerely, stressed. The first thing you should do stressed is breathe. Oh, and don't throw away the file. Here's why. I'm showing you a completed run file. Let's say I made a lot more mistakes than you did while setting up my file. Wrong sample names, wrong dyes, and yes, I even forgot to label some wells. As you can see, I'm in Analysis under the Experiment menu. To fix things, I'm going to go up here and click Setup. In the Plate Setup window, you can see my list of targets and samples. If I originally entered information incorrectly, I can change it right here. Let's say the mistake is something as simple as an incorrect sample name. I activate the offending box, type the new name, and hit enter. I now go to my plate map, which I access by clicking this tab. And I find that the new sample name has been added to the appropriate wells automatically. OK, let's go back to define targets and samples. Now what if I assign the wrong fluorescent label to one of my assays? This one says FAM, but it should say VIC. That mistake left unfixed will definitely cause some analysis issues. However, I can just use the reporter pull-down menu and make the switch. When I now go back to Analysis and click the Analyze button, my change gets applied. And of course, the data improved dramatically. How is this possible? It's possible because whenever the instrument takes readings, it does so through every filter set regardless of the die assignment. Thus, the raw data are always there in the file. Very comforting. Back to Setup, where we'll deal with the issue of missing well assignments. Row D is blank because somebody forgot to assign assays and samples. That would be me. And so these wells yield no data. But if I simply make the assignments now, like so, then go back to analysis and reanalyze the data, curves for those wells will appear. So what information can we change after the fact? Well, just about anything besides cycling conditions. That includes sample and assay names, tasks, such as which wells are labeled as standards, standard amounts, the passive reference die, and lots more. And not only that, every light technology's real-time PCR instrument gives you this leeway. So even if you're using an older machine, that's OK. In fact, you can even change the experiment type on all the newer Light Technologies platforms. So if you accidentally labeled your Delta Delta CT run as a standard curve experiment, you can change that.